Welcome back. Now from Facebook to Snapchat to Instagram to TikTok, new social media platforms are appearing all the time. So it can be very hard to regulate what your children are accessing online. Now Colin Baker joins us with a practical guide to setting up proper security barriers online. Good morning. Good morning, Tommy. Um, are you a TikToker? I, I am not. I, well, no, I am. I tried to do <laughs> a dance up the stairs, me. but listen. Maybe we should do one together. I am just getting, I feel too old for all this sort of stuff. I think if you're over 20, possibly you're too old for TikTok. But it must be so hard for parents who have teenage kids yeah, yeah, who are on yeah. Instagram. How can you keep up with all this? And internet security, I'm sure I'm there's a worry. I'm hearing 20 times a day. For every parent. Yeah. Well, I mean, what's your advice? Or what, what do parents need to talk to their kids about? Or what do you think is the, the best way to go forward with well, there's it? There's really a paradox there. Like, obviously, the internet has become... Screen time, in our recent surveys, screen time has doubled at least amongst kids and teenagers when? in 2020, 2020 versus last alone. year. Yeah. Wow. So, and, and needless to say, the internet it has become so vital. It's become, for a lot of kids and teenagers, their kind of only source of social outlet yes. at some times, yeah, particularly yeah. during the, the intense lockdown, where they, you know, communicate and, and, and ent entertain themselves, talk to their friends, and educate themselves. And now, of course, in school and college as well, you know, connecting in with... A lot of classes are being done exclusively mm -hmm. online now. So it, 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 you can see why that is the case. Parents are challenged by the fact that, yes, it's vital, they don't want to entirely limit uh, because yeah, a lot and, of good and annoy the, the kid. Yeah, there's a lot of good. To there's it. a lot of good there, and it, it is absolutely vital for all, for so many aspects of their life. But there's a lot of nefarious, a lot of dodgy, a lot of sketchy stuff out there as well. well. That's it. Because we how just, do you deal with that? We were just chatting with Karen there, and she was just chatting about you know going on her computer, yeah. whatever else, and the kids and have access. And pop-ups coming up. That she's like, okay, and things. So like, then she I was, was saying, okay, kids, you're not allowed to browse without me. You're not well, allowed to use. use, use and I would always there. use Safari. Now you were saying that Safari, you should probably use Chrome as a search engine. It's better. Well, you know what? This is just based on our own experience yeah. as a repair lab and, yeah. and getting in problem computers all all the time. We find with Mac and PC, uh, particularly with Mac at the moment, there, there appears to be a lot more pop-ups and a lot more infiltrations of viruses through Safari. That's okay. the native browser on okay. Mac. Uh, whereas if you use Chrome, we're seeing a lot less problems like that. Okay. Well, I also and mentioned then malware as well? Yeah, they, it was, years ago, Mac didn't get viruses. Yeah. And that's what we Mac guys flagged right. all the time and bragged about. You won't get a virus. You do nowadays, just as much as you do on Windows. Wow. It does need antivirus. We'll talk about that in a minute. But there's a free tool if you want to take it out, Malware Byte. You can malware Google that. Bites. It's called Malware Bytes. It's an Australia, Australian tool. It's free. You, there is a paid portal as well, but okay. there's a free version. You can download that and use that. It's brilliant for removing those pop-ups and those phishing okay. tools. Now, for kids who've got mobile phones, tablets, yeah. parents all want to keep an eye on what they're watching, mm. want to put restrictions on times. Then they don't have the time either. Like Karen yeah. was saying, only while she's there. But she, maybe she's not there all the time. So you can't. It's not possible. You can't just keep visually supervising. Yeah. Maybe you don't want to. Um, there are tools, intelligent tools, to, to, to help you with this. Okay. Starting off with this device, it's called an iKids. And we did talk about this before. It's got smaller and smaller over okay. the years. Well, it's going to disappear soon. But this plugs into your existing router. And in about five minutes, you can set this up. Anyone can set this up. Wow. You download an app, you give your family a name, give your Wi-Fi a name, and you, you, you give the users a name. So you okay. say, little Tommy is nine, yeah. and he's allowed on the web for four hours a day, and he has this device and this device, and little Karen uh, will be on, she's a bit older, she'll be on for four hours a day, and she's... And does it, it it'll monitor actually, what yes, they look? It intelligently looks at the content, whether that's videos or, wow. or social media or textual content on, on Online. It's monitoring for keywords, for key content that isn't considered appropriate for that age group. So it does all the hard work of discerning you know, what's right and what's wrong mm. without upsetting the kid and saying, oh, it won't let me on well, Spotify it. or it won't let me on TikTok or whatever. Will it will intelligently uh, work with the parent and work with the content. Let's talk about this one, Tenda. Yeah. So I thought that's like a TP links for just ex extending yeah. Wi-Fi, but it's so much more than Well, that. this has been a big problem with people moving, you know, to work from home and finding that their home internet just wasn't good enough, yeah. particularly in parts of the house, and as, it, as demand on their Wi-Fi increased. Mm. 
There's extenders that you can buy for sort of 40 quid, but there's a whole different caliber of Wi-Fi extension. That's called a mesh system like okay. this. Now, very simply what this does is you pick any one of these boxes and you plug it into your existing router. Yeah. These three are factory twinned. You don't meddle so with all, them or try and connect them. Yeah. They're permanently connected to each okay. other. You go to other ends of your house and you plug them in you download an app and in five minutes they're ready to go and, and what it's actually doing safety what is this well what it's doing first of all it's strengthening your wi-fi that's yeah. its, its main purpose yeah, to give you, you this want. dome yeah. of strong internet they, they work together to cover all the blind spots in the house but you can also with that app you can monitor your speeds so that you're getting the speed you're paying for you can update the firmware to these you can switch off the internet you can time the internet to so you can say, well, at 10 o'clock, I don't want any internet. So a little bit like the iKids, yeah. but it just boosts your internet as well. Absolutely. There's more to this. It's actually giving you much stronger internet, not just the child, uh, the, okay. the, the child protection. Talk to me about Apple. We've all got iPhones, yeah. Android, Android phones as well. What can they do? How can we turn these services on? I was showing a parent this last week, and, and she'd heard, she said, oh, I've heard about the parental controls on my yeah. iPhone. Yeah. But uh, How I don't, I'm a bit of a Luddite. It's actually very, very straightforward. Apple and Google have put a lot of time and intelligence and resources into family protection like this. First of all, it's, it's locked into their screen time feature. The first thing you need to do on an Apple iPhone is have family members. Okay. So each individual, so little Tommy needs his own Apple ID, yeah. and then you add little Tommy as a family member. You say he's nine years old, and then you can go down through the filtering options to say, well, he should only be allowed one hour of social media time a day. And of course, the, the phones already have that feature of monitoring and knowing what's being used. Okay. And so you don't need, you can say, well, look, Tommy, you've got an hour. There yeah. it is, and you can even then, Tommy can come back to you and say, oh, really? I'd love another half an hour. So you can actually add so bonuses is, as well. It is simple time. to do. Android and Apple have those yeah. available. Set up the Look, the trick platform. is, once, yeah, once it's set up, five minutes, it's, it's, it, 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 it kind of controls and monitors itself. There's very little to do after that. Let's quickly touch on this one. What's on the laptop here? It's just malware software again? So look, a lot of teenagers are now being asked to use laptops, proper, yeah. robust laptops like this one for school, for accessing classes and resources. And that is an access point as well. And maybe they don't want to block it. They want to give Call. them free reign. Sorry, what is it? Quickly. It's Panda Antivirus, and it has... They're more intelligent internet filtering. Okay. Again, not frustrating or blocking Panda anything. Panda antivirus. Only knocking the head of the really nefarious stuff. And you can actually pick and choose what okay. you don't want on. I'm afraid we're going to have to go, but Sorry, we'll, but we'll put that video up for people story. who want to watch it again. Okay, let's